here we are at the Acre with Wally Joe and uh, you know, it was pretty amazing. We're here in East Memphis, and when I rolled up, I thought I was going into someone's home. Well, as a matter of fact, this used to be someone's home. We bought this property and converted it, and we wanted to keep the integrity of being a home. We want you to feel like you're coming into our home and at a special dinner party. You're our friends, you're our guests, you're in our house having dinner. Yeah, you got, there's a fireplace over here. I mean, it feels like you're in someone's living room. And then the way you've uh, arched that ceiling in the other room with all the light. It's a beautiful room. We call it the sunroom. Okay. Lots of windows, skylights, looks over our gardens and the patio. Just bright and airy. And you told me you used uh, some kind of recycled wood in there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We tried to be as green as possible when we built it. So a lot of it is reclaimed barn wood. Our, uh, our air is, uh, is very uh, environmentally friendly. Oh, good. Yeah, I love it. You know, you walk in, you feel welcome. You got the accent of yellow all over the place. I know you got the yellow doors you come in. It's a distinguishing feature. Absolutely. And every, everywhere there's a little bit of that bright yellow. Yeah. And I really love that picture of the bar of Elvis. That was pretty amazing. Memphis is Elvis. Yeah, he is. You can have your homage to Elvis right there. That's right. Well, I think we're going to get some pretty good food here today. So uh, what do we have uh, planned for us today? Well, my chef, uh, Andrew Adams, is going to prepare something special for you. Let's go see what he's cooking. Great. Sounds good. Well, Wally, who do we have here? Well, Patrick, let me introduce you to Andrew Adams. Andrew he's the executive Adams. chef at Acre Restaurant. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. So we're in good hands, it looks like. You're in good hands, so All take right. it away. Well, thanks, Wally. Thanks, I'll Wally. see you later. All right. So what are we having today? Oh, well, we're going to do uh, grilled um, kimchi lacquered uh, Snake River sturgeon. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot. We got um, kimchi, we got Snake River, and we got sturgeon. I got that. Got okay. that much. Um, we're going to serve it with a uh, little uh, Spanish chorizo and a lotus root, a little salsify, black garlic, wow. and uh, sweet peas. Sounds like a lot of flavor going on. A lot of flavors, a lot of flavors. All right, well, I'm excited. Let's get started. All right. Well, uh, first thing we're going to do is cook off our lotus root. OK. So I have um, already cut it up here. Yeah, and this is interesting looking. I've never had this before. Now, where does this come from? Uh, this is Asian. This, is, uh, this okay. is coming from many different parts of Asian. I'm getting it from the Asian market. <laughs> it smells kind of sweet a little bit. It is a little sweet. It's, uh, it cooks like a potato. It acts like a potato. But it, it does have that sweet flavor to it. OK, and then it looks like you have this soaking in. Is this water that you have it soaked That's in? That's water just so it doesn't turn on us, just so it doesn't turn brown, much okay. like a, a root vegetable and or an orchard. Did you peel it? Peeled it, okay. sliced it. And uh, I've already pre-blanched some here. OK, so you I, just blanch it. That's cooked in salt water for about 45 minutes. OK, wonderful. Great. Yeah. OK. And then we've got some artichokes. OK. The uh, artichokes. What it looks like, a little baby one. A little baby artichoke. That way it doesn't have all the, the, the hair, the choke in the, in the middle of it. It's, OK. Well, we, after we cleaned the artichokes, we cooked it with a little bit of white wine, vegetable stock, olive oil, uh, herbs in the garden. OK, great. We're going to saute that with the pea tendrils here. I have golden and green pea tendrils. Okay. So there'll be the lotus root, the artichokes, and the uh, pea tendrils sauteed together uh, at the end of the dish. Wow, exotic, I love it. So one of the two sauces that we're gonna put on the plate is a salsify yeah. black garlic sauce. And you already made that earlier. We already made that. Okay. So we've taken the salsify and cooked it in a little bit of uh, milk. Okay. Until it gets soft. Puree that in the blender with the black garlic. You can smell the black garlic, it has yes. that kind of that balsamic garlic uh, yeah. smell to it, but it's just raw garlic. And then you talked about this, and this was a root vegetable, or what? It's, it almost looks like a dark carrot, almost. It's, uh, when you cut into it, uh, it actually has a white inside. Oh my God. Uh, and it's as well as gonna be sweet like the lotus root. Then the other sauce is gonna be a sweet pea coulis, and we're using uh, shallots raw. Nasturtium leaves from the garden. Okay. Uh, sweet peas, a little Malden sea salt, and a little bit of avocado lemon oil. Wow. That's just avocado and lemon oil from the plant itself. So to make the uh, green sweet pea sauce, we've blanched the peas. Okay. But we're gonna add the um, add shallots in first. Okay. Nasturtium leaves. Uh, has that uh, kind of a bite like an uh, like arugula. Okay, so, a little peppery. A little peppery. Okay, good. So uh, add the peas. Of course, little, of course, little salt. Of, uh, and sea salt. Okay. Or any other, any sea salt. Okay, great. And then we add a little bit of uh, water to that to get it started. That was very little water. Actually. It shouldn't it sh shouldn't take a lot. And 
that's the sauce. Pretty easy, yeah. straightforward. No, Very easy. No cooking involved. Just a little blanch on the peas. The peas, yeah, and that that's looks it. great. So that sauce is ready. We got the sauce ready, the two sauces. Now you're gonna prepare the fish. So this is sturgeon. This is a fresh water sturgeon from the Snake River. Okay. So um, real simple, just a little sea salt. For this dish, it doesn't need any pepper. Okay. Um, so we take that, we season the, the sturgeon and take a little kimchi base, and you can buy this or make it. This is this is fermented cabbage, okay. uh, chili powder, garlic, uh, and then we add a little bit of vinegar. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna baste it. Makes it look good too, doesn't it? It does. It does. We're gonna do this twice: once before we sear and once after. Okay. So this uh, real meaty fish. Yeah, it looks real meaty. Very rich. It has marbling in it. it does it have marbling and fat in there, right? Give it flavor. So this is gonna be great. Good contrast with the kimchi. We're gonna cook this sucker up, aren't we? We are. We are. We're gonna sear it up. So you know, you got your pan on there. Now, how, how hot do you want to get that pan generally? I want to start the pan off very high. So I'm okay. gonna turn it on high heat for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay. And then I'm gonna, as soon as I get the fish in, we're gonna turn it down. We're gonna get a little bit of olive oil in first. Okay. This is a little bit of pomace olive oil. All right. Yeah, I can tell it's hot because it just spreads out real quick, didn't it? Yes, yeah, so a nice you know, heavy bottom pan is gonna work good yeah. for this. Okay. Great. All right, so we're gonna sear it. Ooh, look at that. Nice. I want to. I want to get. I want to see it get a nice brown color. Okay. Uh, which is getting very fast. Yeah, that's a hot pan. We're gonna get a nice brown color, and then we're gonna add a little bit more of that kimchi base okay. on top as a glaze. Wonderful. Yeah, I can smell it too. It's really kind of kind of got some uh, caramelization going on, on the outside. So it's really nice. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. While it's in the pan, I'll go ahead and give it a glaze on top. Okay. And that's the same sauce you put on before? The same sauce. Wow, that's smelling real nice. Now, we're gonna finish it in the oven, uh, about 350, 400 degrees, okay. for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, great. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna saute the vegetables. Um, let's start off with uh, adding, heating up the pan, medium heat. Okay, medium heat. Add a little bit of olive oil. Okay, same use with the fish. Same uh, pomace olive oil. Okay. And then uh, if you could hand me the artichokes. You got it. There you go. We're going to start off with the artichokes first. Just a little, it's not going to make much of a sizzle. I'm just going to warm it very lightly because it's already been cooked. Okay, because it's blanched. It's already been blanched. Okay. What's and that? then uh, the lotus root. You got it. Lotus root, here it comes. Okay. I've never had those. I'm really looking forward to trying that. All right. As it's getting hot, we're going to heat these through a little bit because we want the, uh, the last ingredient is the pea tendrils. We don't want them to be overcooked. Okay. They, they just need very little heat, if not raw. Okay. Wonderful. Great. All right. If you would hand me the uh, pea tendrils. You got it. Here they are. All right. You got the yellow and the green. Yellow and the green. Just lay those on top and then we'll stir it in. This is, this is gonna be a pretty looking dish. Gentle with these, and it only takes a second after. Yeah, they're they're cooking right off the bat. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat. Okay. And we're gonna let this sit for a second while we uh, get the fish. The, the sturgeon is ready now. Yeah, it's pulled okay. Out. Pull out of the oven. Ooh, looks good, huh? So one last component to the dish is the chorizo. So we're using a Spanish chorizo. Today. Yeah, and this is like, this isn't even cooked, dude. They just hang this, right? Just hang it. Yeah, it cures for about four weeks. That's Two Spanish weeks. chorizo. This is Spanish chorizo. A little, it's definitely different than uh, Mexican chorizo, which is a fresh chorizo. And you kind of just slice this up in really we just slivers. We just slice it up, julienne it in small slivers. There's that julienne guy. Julienne again. <laughs> okay. Before we plate, yes. I have uh, two more garnishes. We have a little bit of the lotus root that we fried. We sliced it very thin, fried it for about 45 seconds. We have some more nasturtium leaves okay. uh, for garnish as well. So I'm gonna start off by taking the uh, salsa fee black garlic puree. Okay. Just we're gonna give it a little. Is that warm right now? It is, this is warm. Okay. A little smear of that. All right. And then we're gonna put our vegetables on top. And this is the artichokes and the uh, pea tendrils and uh, lotus root. Okay. A little slice on the fish. Oh, okay. Wow, nice. So we have uh, the sturgeon on the plate. Okay. Garnish it with a little chorizo. I like a lot, but we'll put just a little bit today. Okay. The uh, lotus root. Gorgeous. So two different textures of lotus root. And then we're gonna have the nasturtium leaves. Sweet picouli. Now is this warm also? Or this no? is warm as well. But so the avocado is going to go really nice with the chorizo. Okay. So a lot of things are matching up today. A little bit of that. And that is our dish.
Looks like a work of art. Well, before I dig in here, I want to bring Wally back in, if that's okay. All right, sounds good. Wally, come on in here. Hey, buddy, good hey. to see you again. How's everything look? It looks gorgeous, I mean, amazing. So we're gonna both try some. You're gonna try the green, and I'm gonna try with the brown, okay? Sounds good, let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, I'm gonna get a piece of this fish here, and I'm gonna get some of these veggies. All of them, the mixture. That's delicious. Have you had this before? Yeah. Yeah, is it one of your favorites? Yes, I love surgeon. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on here. The veggies are great. Yeah, a lot of different flavors, a lot of different colors. It's a beautiful dish. It is beautiful. How was yours? That was delicious. That was great. That was exactly what we were trying for. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is wonderful, you guys. He's a great cook. One of the best chefs I know. Yeah, it is wonderful. Thanks so much. Thank I bet you. you're proud of this dish, aren't you? I am. I am. This is this is going to go on the menu for a long time. Good. And I'll tell you what, anytime you're out here in East Memphis, you've got to cook, see these guys. It's like you're coming to their home, and they're going to love to take care of you and cook for you, aren't you? Absolutely. Come see us. We would love to show you some of our Memphis hospitality. You heard it here. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.